In this video, I'd like to give you an overview on how to design synthesizers, front panels for synthesizers, in particular with PCB boards. These are these electronic boards that are basically inside of an instrument normally, but today we can actually see them on professional instruments like Make Noise, for example, Instro, and many, many others. So. Let's have a look at how we can design our own instruments, not touching Illustrator, Photoshop, or anything like this, drawing natively inside of KiCad. Before we get started, I'd like to say thanks so much to JLC PCB who partnered up with us and helped support this video. At the end of this overview, I'll show you exactly how you can print your own boards, just like this one. So you'll be able to draw your own thing, illustrate it, and then send it to JLC to print it. Let's get started. First thing first, let's examine these boards I just received from JLC. The base material is sort of plastic. It's called FR4. And on top of that, we have three layers at the top and three layers at the bottom. They are identical, so let's just focus on the top layer. On the top layer, we have the copper layer. On top of that, we have the solder mask layer. That is the black mask that you see on top of the copper. And then we could also have silk screen. And you don't really see much silk screen on this design, but it is here on the corner with the logo. Solder mask can actually be printed in lots of different colors. You could do green, which is the conventional design that you might have seen on other electronic boards in the past. Uh, you could do also purple, red, yellow, blue, white. Um, it's actually quite diverse and allows you to create really unique designs. The nice thing about FR4 is that it's essentially transparent. So if in parts of our design we would not put any copper solder mask or silk screen, we could get transparency. That means you could have LEDs in the back. And if you know a thing or two about user experience, you know that you could actually use these as signifiers or for feedback to indicate to the musician who plays your instrument what exactly is happening when they play the instrument. The program we're using to design our instrument is called KiCad. KiCad is a beautiful open source project, completely free. You can download it and get started immediately. When we open a KiCad folder, we get a bunch of uh, files connected to it. And the one we're going to be focusing on at the moment is the PCB editor. In my project, I already have a PCB board, so I can double click on it. Then I can see here my illustrations. And I can see here that I have different layers. I have this layer and I have this layer. And each of these layers includes different parts of the illustration. If I take out my user uh, drawings and comments, you'll be able to see um, only the top copper layer. Uh, we can also take out the F silk screen and B silk screen. And let me show you how we draw. So it's as simple as taking the line tool and draw a line. It's that easy. Now, if we would want to create a circle, we could just take the circle tool and click and drag to define the size of the circle. Now, because this is an engineering tool, you can dive into the precise size, um, I guess even easier than how you would do it in Illustrator. So, for example, if I would press here E, uh, when I just hover on the element, I press E and I see the center point of it, I see uh, so the XY and I see the radius. And I could just make this 10 if I would want it to be exactly 10 millimeters. And I could start by placing it on 0 0.00 and press OK and then it would be exactly here. If I would do Shift M, I could say move this exactly, um, let's say 50 millimeters and it would move exactly 50 millimeters. This is really important because when we design instruments, we need to be very precise on where we make a cut. 
we want to have our knobs, for example, exactly aligned to the panel in the back, and we want to make sure that we actually um, have the illustrations exactly where we want to have them. Everything that you see here is done pretty much in this way. These circles here are as easy as drawing a circle and just slightly moving it to create this kind of um, jagginess. But all these are very accurate circles that I just moved slightly to the left and to the right. Um, these are lines and that's pretty much it. The only thing that I have here that's maybe a bit more specific and is going to be on our GitHub page is the template. So if you see the user, um, user drawings in the back, all these correspond to the simple board. So you'll be able to, um, for example, let's say that I would want to have, um, so I press A to add a component. I want to have, I want to add uh, one of the knobs, let's say. So I could take here uh, knob 1P, that's the small knob, or 2P or 5PS. The blue circle indicates the width of the knob itself and the yellow one in the center shows the hole. So if I press S to put my anchor where I want, so let's say that I want to make the hole here, I would press here and then press A go to the knob and simply put it exactly in the center. When it snaps like this, it's super accurate. It's going to make a hole here. If I'll show you uh, the 3D model of this, if I do Option or Alt 3 on uh, Windows, you'll see that I just now added a hole here. And you can also see all the different elements that are drawn into the copper um, you can all you can see all the details basically. I can I can press here to flip the board to the other side, and I can add any elements that I want. If I do Command tilde, I could jump back here and I could delete this and do again Option three, and now this hole is gone. And once I'm done with my design, all I need to do is go to File, Fabrication, Outputs, and Gerber's. I would click here to generate drill files, generate drill files again, close, and then do plot here. And if I'll go back to my file here, I will see this folder. Now, since this is not a paper print, we actually have lots of different layers here. That's the way that a company like JLC PCB would print your PCBs. So all we need to do is right click on this and compress it. Now we can go to JLC PCB and order now, add Gerber file and come here and drop this in. Once it's done processing the files, you'll be able to see your file here. And now you could choose to print it on um, FR4. You can see here the size, you can see here the amount of boards. So if you would print five boards, it would basically cost you 13 euros, uh, which is not that much. And you can change uh, all sorts of things here, like for example, change it to black or blue or yellow and uh, or white, which is really beautiful. Then you could change here, this is, uh, you want to avoid uh, using lead, but you could actually use lead-free HASL, which is silver, and use ENIG, ENIG, which is gold. The PCBs that I ordered are actually copper-plated. Um, you can notice that the uh, copper-plated uh, gold is more expensive, but it's really worth it because the quality of it is absolutely stunning. It's mutt and super beautiful. Other things that you might want to consider here is uh, you could do confirm production file, uh, remove order number, which will basically eliminate the little order number that's added to every board. So if you want to have your board completely clean only with your design with nothing added on it, make sure to press yes here and save to cart. It's that simple. Once you do that, you put your address and they just ship it to you within two weeks and you actually have this physical thing in front of you that is absolutely stunning as a graphic designer for me this was like the first time that i did it was like this is 
this is crazy it opens a whole world of ideas because you could work with different layers of copper or white black uh, transparency add leds in the back and for a graphic designer that is used to working with print or websites screens this was very exciting to see a new format that i could work with to realize my own ideas so yeah you should totally check this out and give it a try yourself and um, send us on discord any designs that you've made because i'm genuinely super curious about what people make um, with the knowledge that we uh, create here at cynthia x academy and um, yeah thanks for watching and thanks for jlc pcb for supporting us and sponsoring this video i hope this was useful i know that we didn't really cover much here this is sort of like an overview but i promise i am going to release a complete course on this for now if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer or join us on discord there is a dedicated channel for kai cad see you online